let's talk about the future methods and the queueable jobs, how they differ with each other, why future. If you want to run processes in a separate thread at a later time and want to execute the code asynchronously, we need to use future methods. That means you create a separate thread and then you use the governance limit separately. So, um, so you don't have to worry about the dependency on that you hand over to another thread and you they it takes care of that. The use case is when it is used, these are used for long running operations such as call out to external web services or any operation you like to run in its own. Let's talk talk about the queueable apex. Why queueable apex? Like the future is also used to execute the, the asynchronous code and enables you to add jobs in a queue and enhance the way of running asynchronous code in comparison to the future method. You can queue jobs, so it, you can enhance the way yeah, uh, it runs in asynchronously. The use case is when it is used for Apex processor that run for a long time, such as extensive database operation or external web service callout, you can run them asynchronously by implementing the queueable interface. Let's see differences future of future and queueable jobs. The number one is future will never used to work on S objects and S object types. You have to pass primitive data types for future methods as as opposed to that number one on queueable job is queueable jobs can contain member variables such as S, S objects or custom apex types then enhancement of queueable job over future methods. Number two, when using the future method, we cannot monitor the jobs which are in process. You cannot monitor the future uh, methods when it runs. Number two, on queueable job side, when you when you using queueable job, it will make the async async apex job which can monitor like scheduled jobs. You can monitor the progress of that. Number three, future method cannot be called inside the future batch of class. So that's a disadvantage of future method. It cannot be called from another future method or from the batch class. So I tried from a batch class some time ago. It, uh, I had a nightmare. So. I had a call out so from a batch class, so you cannot do that. Uh, but uh, on queueable side, queueable APEC can be called from future batch class. You see, that's in a way queueable jobs are better than a future methods. Number four, the future method will never be queued. Um, you using the queueable APEX will change to queueable jobs and in develop edition is only five jobs. Queuable Apex, the queuable class is a class that is created by implementing the predefined interface queuable. The interface enables the way of running your asynchronous jobs or code of, of job in comparison to the future method. It will enable you to monitor the job which are in the queue. This queue is created by queuable interface so that the jobs can run asynchronous. This is a syntax of a queuable job. It, it needs to implement queuable and it should have the execute method and it should input the queuable context. So you can pass the parameters when you call to the queuable context. Yeah. Any APEX process which takes long time in execution, such as extensive database operation or external web service callout, you can run them asynchronously by implementing the queueable interface and adding job to the APEX job queue. 
your asynchronous apex job run in the background and its own thread and does not delay the execute of your main apex logic each queue job run when system resources become available the benefit of using the interface method is that some governance limit are higher for asynchronous apex such as heap size limits future apex is used to run processes in a separate thread later the when system resources become available for using the future apex we do not need the need to create any class we just use to use at future annotation to identify method that run asynchronously and to denote that the method described below this annotation is a future method when using asynchronous synchronous processing all method calls are made from the same thread and a, a, executing the apex code and no additional processes can occur until the process is complete you can use future methods for any operation you run you like to run asynchronously in its own thread it provides a benefit of not blocking the user from performing the other operation and provide the higher governance limit execution limits the process so this is the syntax of the future you can see the class here global class name then the future you just annotate a method with the future uh, and it takes care of everything as opposed to queueable which need a separate class and execute method um, just a method annotate and future it runs on his own thread 